the Joe Rogan experience. I bring up the Lancasters, who I went with when I stayed in the NWT for that two month time frame. Mm-hmm. Those guys live up there. I bet if you asked uh, a Bart or a Clay Lancaster how many times they've been bluff charged, bluff charged, it's like triple digits. <sighs> like, well, just hunting with those guys, the shit that they've done. Um, triple digits, meaning a hundred times, at a minimum. Oh and my that's, god! So like the like the the shit those guys deal with, they've been doing it since birth, right? And so I was telling um like like Amy and Frank, I was like, okay, you guys know how much I've done and all the different things, you know, hunted and how many animals I put on the ground. It's a fraction. Clay Lancaster's been on three hundred and twenty sheep hunts. Three hundred twenty. That's a lot. That's not including caribou, moose. He's been all over the world, so. The amount of experience those guys have and the stories, like when I get those guys on the podcast, it's hilarious because I, you know, I just got to experience a two and a half month section of it. We were literally from from a light bulb, from a paved road, hours from any electricity. Like it's a 12 hour drive to where the helicopter picks you up and then you're flown in another two hours. So when I got bit by that bite, it was funny by that by spider. It was funny at first. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, I fucking got bit by a spider up there. And uh, I'm like, hey, Clay, I, my, my leg's fucked up. I think I got bit by something. He's like, ah, oh, there's nothing poisonous up here. Well, my, I about fucking died. My uh, my leg swelled up. And we're drawing circles around it. Well, the first couple circles, right, wasn't that big of a deal. So Clay cuts it open. And listen to the podcast. He's hilarious because he squeezed that thing and I acted like it didn't hurt. I thought I was going to pass out from fucking shock. So squeeze the pus out? Yeah. I don't know that it helped, but it gave him pleasure. What kind of he, spider was it? Man, you got to listen to the podcast to hear the whole story. But we ended up calling it the long cock black hobo spider, and there's a story <laughs> beside that. But I think it was a hobo spider. Um, Those are dangerous. Yeah, but I don't think they're overly poisonous. I think I was uh, allergic to it. But the moral of the story, in six hours, my leg locked up straight. There was veins going up towards my heart, and uh, I had cold sweats. Heart rate was racing. And Clay's like, dude, we got to get you out of here. You're going to fucking die. Like, we are a long, long, long ways from anywhere. How far? Four-hour helicopter ride, but then you're dealing with some fucked oh, up Jesus doctor Christ. in the northern part of fucking White Horse. You know, where some the fucking was. doctor. It wouldn't have been good. So mm, I called my, my, my buddy who's a medic, and I was like, dude, what should we do? And he's like, all right, piss on it. Bleach, ibuprofen, fucking bleach? get some shit. Yeah, because I guess um, like bleach cleans everything out. Like he's giving me, I can't remember so all this stuff. So Trump was right? I don't know what's true. Oh. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but I was like, holy shit. I was like, okay, so we're pouring pee on it. We're like crushing up ibuprofen. and Yeah, do you pour pee on it? Do you let your buddy pee on it? So here's the thing. One of my buddies must have weird. had a big Johnson because he was ready to pee on it right there and i'm like dude pee in a fucking bottle i'm like i don't want to see your wiener while you're peeing on my leg and so you wouldn't want it right off the tap somehow or another it's I mean, better if he pees in a bottle and then pours it on you it would have been awkward and think of the stories that would have been told mm. after about yeah but it'd be funny stories <laughs> well either way we we're pouring pee on my it's, leg but if you, it was a matter of survival isn't that funny that you'd, you'd rather have a guy pee in a bottle and then pee and then pour that pee on you than pee on you <laughs> I guess looking at it that way, it's yeah. weird. I get it. Yeah. I feel I, I'm right there with you. I, oh. I understand your your thought process. Well, I think it, I'd let the guy piss on me though. At the time, I was like not oh. overly worried, and then when my leg locked up, um, it's so it was. If you measured my leg, it gained two and a quarter in circumference inches. That's how much my leg swelled up. Oh wow! So it's a lot. Yeah, it was. I mean, I'm laughing about it now, but what was funny is once it went back down, we just duct taped towels around my calf muscle to go on moose hunts because it was so fucking painful uh, when the infection was going down because the willows were beating it up. And I'm like, I really want to see some of these 70 inch wide moose. Let's just take. We, so we taped towels around my calf. So you never made it out of there? Mm-mm, no. So you just dealt with it while you were in the woods? Yeah, it went away in like a 24 hours. Oh, okay. yeah. It wasn't that. It wasn't. But you didn't think it was going to. You thought you were going to die. Eh, I don't want to make it sound worse than it was. It got a little nerve wracking there towards the end. My fucking heart started racing, like, and I'm like, yeah, so your body's that's not good. When do you have an infection? <laughs> Infections are fucking dangerous, man. Well, I had veins going up my leg. Like you can see where, the veins. What you're saying? That's what yeah. when we Clay was talking about it because I was because of I course to, you have veins going up your leg. That's how you get blood. Yeah, and it showed them a lot. <laughs> so uh, they so were they were blue or something. Looked like an etch a sketch um, going up my leg. Dark. Yeah, yeah, dark. So you were worried that the infection was making its way to your heart? 
Well, from what limited knowledge I had was that is a pretty much sure thing you're going to fucking die. Do That's you when carry I got nervous. any antibiotics with you or anything when you go into a, a hunt like that? I do when I go to Canada now because of their weird government. I, 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 uh, I shouldn't even say this. I have friends that will prescribe them to me to take with me. Mm. Now, last uh, – in 18 – I don't even remember my hands looked like uh, Deadpool's face from that milkweed or some shit. I was – shit that happens in the backcountry. What happened? So I'm on that mule deer hunt, and my hands are swelling up, and I don't know why. And and they look like Deadpool's face. And I'm like, what the hell is wrong with my hands? I'm looking around like, what could be around me? It's not poison ivy, and my hands are swelling up like uh, – remember that movie um, – Big Trouble in Little China. Yeah. The Asian dude's hands swell up. And yeah. Blow, yeah, it looked like that. Well, as it turns out, it's um, hogweed or milkweed. I don't know. Some fucking plant that does that. And if you if you now if you now Google it and you pull it up, it's fucking nasty. But if you want to Google um, hogweed, on certain humans, it has this crazy rash inflammation. So my hands... It's affected by sunlight. It's worse. So I'm at 13,000 feet, and I'm on the spotter with my hands in the sun all day to a point like— And when, at 13,000 13, feet, the sun is way stronger. Fuck yeah. Yeah. yeah like you, you get really burnt up there. Use a solar charger. It charges up your shit twice as fast because you're that close to the sun. Um, is that really what it's from, or is it just a lack of— Oh, my God. Look at that giant hog weed. Look at the hands. It wasn't good, let me tell you. Holy so my hands shit. look like those ones in the middle. Blow that picture up in the right hand corner. That is crazy. The uh, one the one that you see, the large picture. The one the yeah, look at that. What the fuck, man? That's from hogweed. So go to the go to the left. Um the one in the middle there. That's what my hands look like. The no. one no, the one in the middle. The left. Yeah. That one. Yeah. Ugh. They look like that. So Frank comes over and he's like, dude, what the hell is wrong with your hand? I'm like, you know, that's a good good question. So we we come out because I, I dude it was bad and I <laughs> go to so nasty. the doctor right and I'm like you know I go to the emergency room and I'm like hey I what does that hogweed look like just so I know I mean, it says you get some people have gotten third degree burns from it whoa uh, it's it's not good can we see an image yeah yeah it just looks like a little plant I mean yeah. that's it that stuff that's beautiful yeah and I was low crawling through that shit to oh go my to a god so, giant hogweed and it's to toxic cousins wow that's crazy. So, but you, those are the things you just don't think about, right? So I went and they gave me, I don't know, all kinds of steroid cream and shit. And it went away in a day or two and we hiked back in. This but, looks like a flower. I would have never imagined. I wouldn't so either. this is just, how did it get on both your hands? Your hands just, just rubbed up against it? Well, you, you figure it's, there's big fields of it and I've got my bow hanging and I'm low crawling and yeah, oh. just like it would any weed. So. so to mitigate that, what do you do? Do you wear gloves? Is there something you could put on your hands? I don't know. I just look how fucking tall that <laughs> shit is. Yeah, I just kept my hands out of the weeds the next year. Oh um, my god! Toxic giant hogweed plants show up in Duncan Lake. I don't know. You just made it too big. Lake Cowichan Gazette. Hmm. Yeah. Where's that, Duncan? I don't know. Look at the size of that. It's like fucking nine feet tall. It wasn't that tall where I was at. It was three foot tall, right about even with your hands. So. Oh, perfect. Yeah. So. Just that weed has like some sort of an oil or something like that. That's what they said. The like doctor poison ivy type deal. Yeah. Well, it's funny because when I went, they had no idea. I'm like, hey, my buddy from Alaska messaged me, and he said, dude, I think that's hogweed. I'm like, what? I'm I had the same reaction you did. What the fuck is hogweed? Googled it. Drove across the road. Kaiser's, uh, whatever emergency room things like right across the road from Kafaru. I drove over there, and I'm like, hey, you know, I'm all screwed up. And they're like, what it? You know, they they don't know what it is. And I'm like, hey, this is what I think it is. They Googled it just like we did, and they were like, oh, well, that makes sense because they didn't know. And then they gave me, like, this steroid cream to put on it and, I don't know, went away in a couple days. Jesus Christ. Yeah. So between that and the bite, what was worse? Oh, the bite. The bite was that much worse. <laughs> Fucking the, I could have kept hunting with that. I just not just knowing what it was. Well, we'd been in there 12 days. I'm like, ah, it's about time to come out anyway. So we right. came out. What was crazy, we came out a couple days. We go back in, and— Frank's already got his deer. We go back in, and Frank, I thought his appendix burst. As it turns out, he just ate too much sushi, and it got clogged up in his stomach. But Frank is harder than woodpecker lips. We get on this; these two deer we're trying to get, and uh, he's not getting out of the tent. And so I, Frank is not like that. And he's like, uh, I hear him go, sir, I'm going to stay in a tent this morning. And I'm like, dude, you good? Now, 
keep in mind, Frank got pulmonary edema, and that dumb shit hiked out with pulmonary edema. Um, he literally, his lungs filled up with uh, liquid. And that's an altitude sickness, right? Altitude sickness. And he, that fucker hiked out nine miles with pulmonary edema. Jesus Christ. He, when he got back, he'd cough, and it was like emptying a water bottle. Uh. So he's a tough individual. So I'm like, dude, this guy, I even texted Amy. I'm like, hey. Frank's fucked up. I might I might have to hit the beacon. Like I may have to I might have get to get help. It out. So anyway, I go over, I shoot this deer. So it was just sushi? I guess. I don't so where did you guys eat sushi in Denver the day before? So I think what had happened, we had starved ourselves for twelve days, right? Dehydration. And he must have in, in the woods. We came out, you know, I took we all went out to dinner and I think he ate all that white rice. And it just clung to his intestines like a woolly mammoth because he ended up just having to take a big poop, right? But right That's in the it. middle where, you know, your appendix is, he's like, it hurts right here. And I've had gallbladder issues. Mm-hmm. I got, I, had a, I passed a kidney stone like six miles in. Ow. So I was like, his appendix has erupt. He's going to die back here. And so it's to show you how the, you know, the it, it, moxie that Frank has, he drug his ass out of that tent and filmed me shooting that mule deer, and he hobbled his ass over there after I shot it. And it's a fucking mile and a half from where he's glassing, you know, flagging me in. And he just sat by the deer. I cut it up, whatever, and I'm like, dude, I'll get most of it. You good? And he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. I'm, I'm okay. And I'm like, I can tell you're not fucking okay. Like, you're in pain. And he, he made it out, and then he took a giant poop, and everything was okay. But it... uh I thought he was gonna. I thought he was gonna have to hit the beacon. <laughs> that's so bizarre that it was just from rice and poop. Well, we're not doctors, but that's what I chalked it up to. Yeah, he maybe was food pain. poisoning. You sure, it wasn't food poisoning. He wasn't puking. That was the only thing. Mm. But again, I'm not a doctor. But I, every time I've had it, I've puked. So those are the worst experiences. What about injuries? You ever get like really hurt out there? Um, I'm trying to think. The kidney stone. That was a bad one. You had to piss that out. Oh fuck! That was horrible. Um, How big I didn't was it? No. I'll tell the quick version of it. Um, I think I was 10 days into a hunt, and I shot a mule deer. We dehydrated? Fuck, yeah, I dehydrated, and I peed blood, and of course, like an idiot, and I'm like, ah, it's fine, whatever, and got, hiked the mule deer out, turned around, I I met a buddy, dropped it off, and then hiked back in. And then, like, that night or the night after, I was, um, it was pretty high elevation, but anyway, I went after this bull, and something, like, knocked loose in my kit. You know, I didn't know what it was. Just all of a sudden, I had this shooting pain. And I looked at that dude on the green mile trying to pee, right? And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like, I literally, I'm like, I'm going to pass out from shock. What the hell is wrong with me? Did you think it was a kidney stone? I didn't even, I didn't know, right? I I didn't, it was so much pain in my back area that I knew it had something to do with my kidneys. But every time I tried to pee, I literally would drop me to my knees. And so I was like, okay, let's assess this. And I'm, I'm trying to think through, should I take next to no gear and try and hike out take enough gear to stay the night but then have the burden of the weight you know what what's going to be the best option because i didn't have any service and i didn't have a a be i didn't have anything back with me that i could get a hold of anyone and so i'm like fuck it no guts no glory i grabbed the basic essentials and hobbled my ass out and at one point i did have a phone but i didn't have service I, i i texted my buddy tony and said hey what is the nearest hospital to this trailhead? And I lost service. And so all he knew was I'm fucked up. Right. So I get to the trailhead and I get in my Jeep and I had a giant Jeep and I'm doing like 90 down the road and I get pulled over. Well, the cop was looking for me because my buddy had called and said, I don't know what's going on. He's somewhere. Well, the cop was kind of a dick, right? He, I get out and I'm like, Hey man, I, I'm, he wanted to call an ambulance, and I'm like, look, dude, I just hiked out six miles. I'm not paying $3,500 for a fucking ambulance ride. I just hiked six miles out. I can make it to the hospital. And so he was a little bit of a, of a dick, but he followed me into the hospital, and I passed it, um, I don't know, 30, in the toilet. Tink, tink, tink. And it looked Did like a chick of No, but it looked like a chickpea. Um Oh, like a chickpea? Like yeah, a little, little spiky little bastard. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was horrible looking. Um, How big was it? Not very big. Uh Big it's smaller than a BB. Your dick hole. Think Holy moly, anything, man. Going it, through that. What was crazy is right after that, uh, I was good to go. I mean, once really? you passed it, I was fine. I went. I hiked back in the next day. 